Let's get this over with. Okay, well, hold on. We got a couple of memes. We need to check off the, the list right away. Um, it's better than nothing. Uh, Four million dollars. Anime fan on prom night. Good, we got the easy references Pizza. out of the way. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. Oh, yes, of course. Um, okay. We'll see you guys next time for the Money Number 9 commentary. Looking forward to Money Number 10. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought Sonic 06 was bad. Uh, this... Uh, okay. okay, can I, I... I don't think it's... I don't think it's that bad in terms of quality. Uh, uh, I'm, no. talking about well, the, I'm talking about the load times here. Oh, uh, oh, oh. 19, okay, right. 19 seconds to get to the options screen. I counted. Options. 19 okay. seconds. I, I, I don't want to be a really bad nitpicker, but the one thing, the one thing about Mighty Number no. 9 that legitimately bothers me is that the game kind of feels like... <laughs> 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 the game kind of feels like it's it's held together by by a bunch of scotch tape. Uh, but um, once again, the I, I, I was only a twenty dollar contributor. Uh, myself the... as well. I just got enough for the game. I got the Wii U version of the game, which whoa, was that a bad idea? Well, we're same. Well, well, I mean, the audience can see right now. This is the Wii version of the game that we're commentating over. Yep. Now, can, now, can I ask why? I mean, did could, could, could your thing not run the PC version, or is uh, just the version you opted for? It's just the version I opted for. It's easier for me to record off a console and my computer's well, not showing good That's a good point. <laughs> Attention. Is this well, um... <laughs> that's true. There, there, are, there are a few times the game does that. It, it kind of reminds me of, um... Uh, Portal and Portal 2, where sometimes the, the, since the characters had so much creative freedom to talk what they wanted, they didn't actually put it in the script. And it's, yeah. Well, you, you know, this saving the bosses mechanic would have been interesting if it was played, uh, you know, I just... It, it, it might seem a little less classy than it should to, to bring this up right after I stream the game, but if they had handled it like Undertale where it was an option to save the bosses rather than killing them. Uh, well, then you would have to have a reward and consequences. Well, yeah, that's what, well, uh, that's different what, uh, endings uh, and all of that. It, that's it, what a Powered Up did, then, essentially. Yeah, if you beat the bosses without using the special weapons, you... <laughs> <laughs> you'd um if you uh, you got the to play as them and i mean that would that i think would make sense because you would get the reward like if you beat the the bosses without using the weapons and i mean you'd probably do that anyway because most of the weapons suck now you're starting with this level oh man yeah i just go in order yeah i started with mighty number one myself holy shit okay so I mean, we can do this shit because these low times are so obnoxious okay y you said you're gonna you're gonna go in order Ryan, yeah. one, but, two, so three. You're, you're not gonna okay. like take advantage so, of boss weaknesses all right, or anything this, like that. Uh, I will once. <laughs> this just for cryo. Yeah, the game is constantly throwing out exposition to uh, to dis uh, to kind of explain these characters, and we're not allowed to to discuss. I, I love this goddamn Ruby Spears card. <laughs> it is beautiful. Should I wish I'd thought to do next. that during the Sonic 06 playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> Oh yeah, god! Okay. I oh man, this this level sucks. Anyways, you got Pyrogen's uh, weapon, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> anyway, as I try to avert my ah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> you know you uh, love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pyrogen's weapon is a close range explosion, and if you turn it all the way up, it stuns yourself. So why? <laughs> it well, it makes short work of crying. I like to play fair with that. And the game does not explain how to use any of them at all. Well, no, they do. Yeah. You just have to go into, like, five different menus and read the tutorial. You have to read the tips, yeah. They don't yeah. bother showing you how the weapon does it. Okay, the people didn't people didn't like that when Final Fantasy XIII did with the story. Why would they like it if a platformer does it with the tutorials? Yeah. Uh, should, should I have a train of thought? I just completely next. lost my train of thought. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, God. We're doing this stage back. now? Ugh. Yeah. This one is honestly one of the... Uh, uh, 2001? Gentlemen, we have <laughs> transcended. <laughs> you see, it's a power plant, and they put a B in there because... Bzzz. Don't fight it. Bzzz. Just let it happen. Um, and they what? never let you forget it. Because she keeps saying... Just a moment. All right, I am going, <laughs> I am going to compliment the game on one thing. And it's one thing that uh, a lot of American gamers aren't necessarily going to get. 
But you know how in Mega Man in J in Japan at least the uh, the uh, Mega Man and and his sidekick robot were were called Rock and Roll, and here they're called Beck and Call, which is okay. That's not a very bad naming convention to go with. I mean, you got a theory, Will? At least well, it makes more sense. At least they didn't change it in trans. <laughs> uh, they didn't make. They didn't change it in the the translation. So it's just like Mega and Roll, because they always try to call him Mega, which always sounds kind of stupid, personally. I, I just like how the schematics in the background are just the concept artwork. Yeah, of Mighty Number no. Nine. You can see like one of the design choices for Call in the back. <laughs> I'm just just gonna watch the go show. Ahead. Oh, I want to see the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we are. You are the mine. Oh god! Apparently, Home like of the best fucking weapon in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Because superheroes work, as American superheroes work totally well as bitchy characters. Remember Hulk? He's back. <laughs> it's not as bad as the Wolverine or Iron Man anime, though. I'll give it that. <laughs> Those are awful. Just American Studios should stop trying to make them anime. It doesn't work. <laughs> That's pessimism. I think it can work. Keep trying. Just through a Nortec. <laughs> Uh, fuck you guys. Oh, uh, man. I love Chang Change Leopardon. <laughs> Which, personally, I think is... disgusting. <laughs> like, if you earn the life, you should keep it. Uh, how many YouTube poops did you have to download in order to make this, Ryan? Nine. <laughs> what should we tackle next? Seismic's weapon. Probably Useless. one of the least... Oh, uh, what does it do? Um, so you, you turn into a... Uh, like, a, like a tank, and you can. <laughs> I love this gif, I really do. But you can, you turn into a tank, and you can just dash into any enemy. It has only one application. Okay, two applications technically. One for the mighty number uh, weakness, and two it sort of breaks the final boss in half. How does Samus drink that coffee through the visor? The same way Darth Helmet does. I was just about to mention him. <laughs> So, I guess you could say Graham is a bit crackers. No. That's racist. <laughs> no one. <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, I love that animation. <laughs> Look at the shy guy smiling. Holy shit, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Quit my lollygang. Sandy, you're the one not doing anything. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we are. Uh, yeah, the radio tower. I, I just hate for the... Oh, yeah, for the JoJo action here. How old is this fighting game? Super Nintendo. Oh, no, no, this is Dreamcast. Oh, oh the, the game is oh, that... Oh, no, yeah, there, there's a different one for the Super Nintendo. The anime is that old? Yeah. Yeah, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is an old anime. Oh, yeah. wow. And they're still doing new episodes I, of it? Jo l let me put it this way. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3 was the inspiration for Persona. Don't want to. Nah, Dude. nah it's, it's almost done. Oh! oh. You were saying? <laughs> oh! That that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> you had an E-Tech. <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself. It also doesn't him. look like you should be able to dash into him from up there. Because you're yeah, not even touching him. <laughs> but your hitbox for dashing is actually remarkably large. Is that you, Beckles? And I mean, it should be, but it just it doesn't look right. <laughs> no, it, that's the problem. It doesn't look like it. So you wouldn't assume it is. Mm. I just noticed this video ends with 1337. Do we uh, keep talking so that nobody would get it? or? Alright, only two oh, robot or mighty number n numbers left. <laughs> well, they are still robots. You're not wrong. Yeah. All set but they're not them. called the Robot Masters. I was writing paper on the PC, and it was like beep 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 beep, and then uh, like half Osaka, of my Osaka, what's died. wrong with you? <laughs> uh, anime. Uh, dude, Azamon Gadayo is badass. Okay, I just I don't know what the hell was really good they're paper. editing over. And then I had to this. write it again, and I had to do it fast, so it wasn't as good. Holy shit, these low, these, these motherfucking low times, man. Serious case of red eye going on there. That's kind of <laughs> creepy. Poor everything else. N 
Uh, I'm gonna contest that. I, I haven't heard any problems with the with the you know high specs consoles yet, but I have heard of problems with the PC version. And it doesn't look like the PC version has especially you know has an especially you know wide range of graphical settings or anything, which is something you'd. You're expect gonna give our a viewers game. a seizure, dude. Well, they're probably not watching the video anyway. They're just probably doing background noise. Hey, look at this. Oh, you I, missed it because you yeah, do tap the commentary video. That, that That is hurting my eyes. Can you go away, anime girl, please? Thank you. You don't necessarily have to have a plot line attached to the plot point, but a plot point is helpful. Yeah, you. it, it does feel... You're right in that. It does feel better to have an Eggman and a Bowser to kill than just, like... Go do levels and stuff. No, not uh, necessarily. It doesn't necessarily have to be a villain. Go ahead it could just be, you know, a cause. And that, that's why I mentioned Roboenza. Because you can't really call Roboenza evil. It was some kind of weird disease. And, you know, eventually you found out that it was created by... Ryan. <laughs> that, it was created that, by Ryan? That, oh, shit. No. <laughs> 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 that, it, that it was created by Dr. Wily. But, um... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that clip. It hurts my eyes. Like, I'm serious. Don't, don't ever do that again, please. Yeah, the, the, the boss rush is really only in Mega Man games nowadays because of tradition. Like, it's there because it has to be there. Kind of like the disappearing blocks and things like that. So, since this isn't Mega Man... They don't have to have it there, so it's just better to not have it there because <laughs> I, I cry sometimes when I'm riding in bed just to figure it out why I'm playing this game. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that, I don't even... <laughs> uh... Why doesn't that 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 drink there fall off the table? What should we? Final boss, <laughs> the Battle Coliseum, you which if you're expecting some sort of super yeah! challenge in terms of design, you know it's not. On it, like bringing you back to the the stage selection menu there feels like a bad move. Like it just feels. I mean, it's only a matter of time, but how much fun do you have learning the mechanics? That's entirely a different issue. Personally, I don't think learning about mechanics in a game like this should be instantaneous. Like, you see something, and you're like, oh, that does this. It shouldn't be something that you have to think about or discover five minutes later or have to read in a manual. It should be part of the... Especially considering that Mighty Number no. 9 is, uh, very much wants to uh, play faster than a classic Mega Man game. Things should be snappy. It shouldn't be something that you have to read or look up, especially. Oh no, I'll find a boss on the internet. <laughs> uh, uh, well, so does that mean that Beck beat Ronald McDonald Kiss? What weapon do we get for beating him? Uh, you, you don't want to know. If you <laughs> no, I want to know, goddammit. If you use it, it crashes the game. <laughs> it, dele it deletes the internet. Oh wait, so you're telling me that we have Ronald McDonald's weapon from the get-go, because this game crashes we use. Why do they need all of them? All they need... <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I really I need to watch all... Some... You need to watch Azumanga Dio, dude. It's... <laughs> <laughs> what is this playthrough becoming? A, a meme. It's a meme. Yeah, and that's Spidey number nine. So wait, that's it? Wait. There's no extra yep. cutscene or anything? One, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this right here was a call design that yeah. was uh, ultimately would be unused because everyone wanted the. the that kind of bothers the role. me. Like the the, the call the, design the, that everyone picked was the one closest to roll, and I was like, "Come on, guys." Yeah. Honestly, uh, like the art, the art, the the art looks nice. So I would have honestly preferred story cutscenes like this, like yeah. Yeah. throughout the entire thing. If they were going to draw them all individually, that would have been. Well, yeah. If they're going to be still in <laughs> static. Wow. Or, or it's or, or it didn't even didn't even finish. Damn it, Ryan! 